Did you know that sending this rocket, SpaceX's Starship, to Mars is one of the biggest fueling challenges in space exploration? Starship, as you see here, is designed to carry people and cargo all the way to the Red Planet. But making that journey isn't as simple as just filling up the tank and blasting off. To reach Mars, Starship needs about 1,200 metric tons of propellant, liquid methane, and liquid oxygen. That's enough fuel to fill nearly half an Olympic swimming pool. This fuel powers Starship's Raptor engines, not just for the trip to Mars, but also for landing and, if needed, coming back home. Here's the tricky part. Starship can't carry all the fuel it needs for a round trip from Earth. Instead, after launching into Earth's orbit, it will be refueled in space by several tanker starships. Each tanker brings up more fuel, transferring it to the Mars-bound starship until it's fully loaded for the journey. But what about the trip home? Carrying return fuel from Earth would make the rocket too heavy and expensive. So, SpaceX plans to make rocket fuel on Mars itself. Using local water ice and carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere, Starship can produce new methane and oxygen, turning Mars into a refueling station for the journey back. This combination of in-orbit refueling and making fuel on Mars is what makes Starship's mission possible. It's a bold plan that could open the door to regular trips between Earth and Mars, and one day, help humans become a multi-planet species. So next time you see this shining rocket, remember, it's not just about the engines or the metal, it's about the incredible fuel journey that makes reaching Mars possible.